Good morning. My name is Robert Meisey, and welcome to my continuing series of podcasts on the international tax provisions of the 2017 Act. Last time we talked about the basics of the deemed repatriation regime, the transition tax. That Today, we're going to talk about the elections. Now, when I talk about elections, am I talking about the midterms in November? No, I am not. This is a nonpartisan podcast. That deemed repatriation regime tax was 15.5% on cash, 8% on non-cash E&P. If you're a C corporation, you received a deemed paid foreign tax credit. You didn't receive a deemed paid foreign tax credit if you were an individual owner or an individual owner through a flow-through entity. Here we have individual U.S. owning the foreign subsidiary through an LLC, 3 million EMP, a million cash, and 2 million of non-cash EMP, the land, we're going to have tax of $315,000 with no deemed paid foreign tax credits. So let's talk about the elections to pay the tax. The one election that everybody should be aware of, because all U.S. persons, every U.S. person can take it, is the installment election over eight years. The rates vary. It's 8% the first five, 15% the sixth year, 20% of the tax the seventh, and 25% the eighth. There are a variety of triggering events. For example, what happens if you sell your shares in the foreign subsidiary? What happens if the foreign subsidiary gets rid of substantially all its assets? Then the tax is all triggered. What's the great news for S corporations is that S corporations can elect to indefinitely defer, to indefinitely defer this deemed repatriation regime tax. This is a great deal for S corporations, and the last week of 2017, I was forming a lot of S corporations for individuals that own foreign subs, put S corporations. Now, the one planning tip I have here is, and we're running close, today is, is March 9th, March 4th, March 15th, the last day you can do that. If you have an LLC owning a foreign sub, you can elect with a 2553 to treat it as an S corporation, effective December 31st, 2017. As a result, you won't have that deemed repatriation regime tax this year. You can indefinitely defer it because on the last day of the year, it was an S corporation. On these deferred payments through installments, no interest is due. An interesting issue is what, that when, what statute of limitations apply. Well, this new Section 965 says a six-year statute of limitations after each return is filed. I have heard that the commissioner of the IRS is going to provide guidance saying that, no, it's only going to be for the 2017 year, that return that the six-year statute applies. I think it'll be interesting to see how that plays out, because I think the commissioner is actually wrong on that point. Well, that's all for this time. Hope you join us next time. Have a good rest of the day.